Ladies and gentlemen, gather round. Today, we're diving headfirst into the wild world of populism. Picture this. You're sipping your morning coffee, and suddenly, out of nowhere, a populist leader bursts onto the scene, fists raised, yelling, I'm here for the people! It's like a WWE entrance, minus the spandex, thank goodness. Populism used to be that scruffy cousin hanging out in Latin America, but guess what? It upgraded its passport and went on a world tour. Now it's crashing parties in Europe, Asia, and even cozy little democracies like Canada and the United States. Imagine populism as a rock band. Think Mick Jagger meets Teddy Roosevelt. They're belting out hits like Stick It to the Elites and Make Democracy Great Again. Populists hate suits. They're allergic to boardrooms. They'd rather chew broken glass than cozy up to the political elite. Grab your cowboy hat and wave that flag. Populists love heritage, tradition, and mom's apple pie. They're like Uncle Sam's rowdy cousins. Populists fight for the working class. It's like Robin Hood with a Twitter account. Tax the rich, y'all, they shout from the rooftops. Globalists? They're the sickly vegans of politics, always pushing their kale smoothies and open borders. Populists? They're more into barbecue and for the people by the people. Populists side-eye woke warriors like they're watching a bad reality show. Cancel culture? Nah, we're more into canceling the establishment. Populists are the true voice of the people. Remember when disco died? Well, the silent majority has awakened from its disco nap and said, Enough! They're bringing back old-school values, family, law, and order. And maybe a dash of Clint Eastwood squinting at the bad guys. Populists expose the corruption and deceit of the globalist elites, the UN, the WEF, and anyone who thinks world citizen is a legit job title. It's like a Marvel movie, but with the rebels' real science truth fighting against the evil villain of globalist-funded propaganda. The battle rages on. Is globalism a force for good or a supervillain plot? It's certainly not for good, so what's that leave you with? In conclusion, my fellow freedom-loving rebels, populism isn't just a buzzword. It's a concert you accidentally stumbled into and now you're crowd surfing. So grab your lighters, or smartphones, because it's 2024, and let's rock this democracy. Thank you, and may your liberty be ever unapologetic.